stand with us in worship this morning?
praise you this morning, Jesus. Father God, we, uh, we just thank you so much for this time of praise that we can just sing to you songs of adoration. Today's scripture reading comes from uh, the book of Colossians chapter 3. And uh, this is the scripture that the Lord gave me while we were practicing and going through these songs. And it says, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And Lord, we just, we declare that we are thankful, we have so much to be thankful for this morning.
partners up church if you have needs if you have prayer requests please come let us join with you in prayer Your holy name 
Bless the Lord. One more time. Here we go. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Sing like never before. Oh my soul. Worship Your holy. Jealous for me, loves like a hurricane. I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and the sea. When all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions, eclipsed by glory. And I realize just how beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me. Oh, how he loves us so. Oh, how he loves us. How he loves us. And we are his portion and he is our prize 
and drawn to redemption by the grace in his eyes. And if his grace is an ocean where I'll take it. When heaven meets up like an unforeseen kiss and my heart jumps violently inside of my chest. And I don't have time to maintain these regrets when I think about the way, oh, how he loves us all, oh, how he loves us, how he loves us so, how he loves us. So 
Uh, last week, right before I came up here to pray, God put a verse in my head that was about fear. And so this week I came up, or was getting ready to come up, and God gave me another verse about fear. It's 2 Timothy 1.7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. And so in my head I go, I talked about fear last week, man. You know, uh, what, what's the deal with fear? And then I, I, a light bulb went off. There's a reason why God is speaking us to us about fear, and it's because Pastor Chris has been talking about you guys making disciples for a month. And that's scary, right? Because we go, now I have to talk to people about Jesus. Now I have to be a crazy good example for people. And I have to help people learn more about Jesus and show people what Jesus is like. That's scary, dude. But hey, listen, God has not given us a spirit of fear. If you're living in a spirit of fear, that's, that spirit comes from somewhere else. It's not of God. There's a difference between being a little bit scared and living in fear. Being a little scared is a feeling. Fear is a lifestyle. So if you're a little bit nervous, you're a little bit scared, that's okay. Because God wouldn't call you to do it and not equip you to do it. Tell people about Jesus and make disciples. It's going to be the best thing you've ever done because God told you to do it and he's going to equip you to do it really, really good. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. Tell people about Jesus. Make disciples. That's what we're supposed to do. Let's pray. Oh God, we just thank you. Lord, we thank you for uh, the way that you've laid it out for us through Pastor Chris about making disciples. God, we thank you. We're excited for this season in our church where people are going to go out and start making disciples. God, I pray for people in this congregation today who have been thinking about this for four weeks and who have been wanting to do this for four weeks but there's that that thing in the back of their mind or in their spirit that's making them afraid god we pray that 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 spirit of fear will be broken right now in the name of jesus that people are just gonna do something bold and they're gonna take that step and they're gonna tell people about jesus and they're gonna make a decision to be an example of what a godly person is to people Lord, this is going to be an incredible time of change in our community, in our church, on this entire corridor, Lord, as people from Journey Church decide to start doing what you've called us to do. And Lord God, we thank you that you're going to equip us to do it and do it well. Lord, we pray that people will follow you and lead by your example and look to you in times of trouble and not live in fear, God. Lord, today we pray for this service. Lord, we pray the same thing as we do every week, Lord, because you're big enough. Don't let anybody leave here the same as when they came. Change lives this morning. Change the lives of people who have been serving you for years and years and years. God, draw them even closer than they knew they could get to you. Lord, speak through Pastor Chris again this morning. Lord, lend him your voice today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Pastor Chris said I had to stay on the stage during that time. It's hot up here. <laughs> hey, we're going to take about seven minutes. Find somebody that you don't know very well and get to know them a little bit better. <laughs>